for me uh, at least this is the most critical episode of all of this uh, whatever episodes we had seen in this tutorial series because this is about a big problem in your coordinator pattern if you don't handle it then your application is going to leak like crazy so whatever i'm talking about is about something where, which i had discussed even earlier like let's say um, you search for a city and then you hit hit back then at that point it's not actually releasing uh, your child coordinator in this case this is the uh, child coordinator to this parent so this is a problem that we are right now having because we, we there is no handle for how you can actually remove this uh, child coordinator so if you want to see what is going on right now let's see the memory profile it's creating that memory graph and you'll see there will be multiple instances of the child like airports coordinator is my child you can already see that there is four and if you let's say execute it once more you're gonna see one more hit back memory graph is gonna show you the fifth one which is now being added so it's not removing anything see it's there still so this is what we are going to solve today which is very critical if you miss this one then you you have messed up your coordinator architecture because if you don't follow this whatever you build will have memory issues so let's uh, let's see how we are going to solve this i'm going to refer uh, um, a couple of references here one is from like i had been mentioned in the last episode that i'm gonna follow something from a tutorial not a tutorial but, but an article by benoit pasquier i guess that's how you pronounce his name uh, from his uh, approach where he's creating a protocol and a router pattern using which uh, we can approach it so he is actually referring to the creator of uh, the coordinator architecture in ios uh, his name is can law if you're not aware of it i can just share you that link he has uh, proposed uh, uh, this coordinator architecture the pattern which we are following right now and then uh, he has also mentioned about this problem and ways of solving it there are different ways to solve it but then i'm going to refer something which is being created by uh, benoit so that's what we are going to discuss in this tutorial series episode where we are going to solve this problem so let's get started before starting this let me give you an update about couple of things which i had fixed uh, which i had uh, mentioned in the last episode that a uh, couple of things might not be working properly one of them is this formatted distance <clears throat> which was actually uh, outputting everything in miles so i had to format it into kilometers because i'm gonna show it in kilometers so i just modified a little bit here so if you see that uh, and one other thing is uh, i had mentioned uh, the um, number of lines in this uh, cell was actually not showing properly so you have this airport cell which was actually only showing one line which which was not what i wanted to show because there are some airports where the name is like too big so the change i have done here was uh, one was making it fill and then number of lines kept to zero okay number of lines to zero that's the only change i did here so that now it's in showing in like a couple of lines so i can show you that like if i search for mumbai it's in two lines now and the kilometers even now uh, when i'm in the simulator it's not showing the proper distance because if you actually test it in a device you'll get to see at at least approximately the right distance because i tested with wherever i am right now even here in a simulator it does not show you the right length distance from my location but at least it shows properly in a device so you can test it in a device once you have tried this implementation so it's, this is where i am right now but it's showing a crazy kilometers it's actually around uh, 24 kilometers or something from my place so that's a problem so that's what i have solved in this uh, in the last episode's uh, mistakes which i have corrected so let's get started with uh, today's issue resolution which is like 
already told this problem so let's first thing first let's create a router so you can see seven instances already so we'll get to solve that pretty soon so i'm gonna create a folder for the router i'm gonna call it as router so i'm just gonna blindly use the whatever is there in that article where whatever is defined there i'm gonna just use those uh those details itself because i want to give that credit to that person who has created uh, that approach so maybe i'll just even keep that credit in my uh, whatever uh, um code base i'm sharing with you guys let's say if i'm sharing it to a patron you'll get to see that uh, um that copyright or at least the credit to that person so i'm gonna first thing first i'm gonna create something or uh, call as a drawable protocol so that's what even the article says create a, something called as a drawable protocol drawable so this is actually nothing but uh, having an instance of uh, the view controllers so this is what holds your view controllers um, references so you just blindly follow it that's it your view controller i'm gonna keep it as a optional type and then create an extension and it's actually going to return uh create a, create an extension of your for ui view controller and then implement drawable on that whatever is going to happen is it's it's just going to reference itself as a view controller so that implemented that i'm going to return here self itself so it's referring itself so that's what is this drawable is doing so you'll get to know why this is happening once I have the complete implementation in place. So that's done. This is my first part. And I'm going to also keep that reference of that article as a credit here. So I'm just keeping that so that the due credit goes to that person who has created this architecture or at least the solution. So that's my drawable first thing done. Next is I'm going to create a file gonna call it router protocol <laughs> so the article is only talking about one specific scenario which is actually push but even with uh, the new updates with, uh, with iOS 13 the way you're gonna present and then on dismiss how you handle it is also different from However, you have done it earlier so that's one thing you should be aware of so that's also something i'm going to implement which is coming from my side at least whatever push that <coughs> solution is from this article so I'm, whatever i'm going to create now is um, again a protocol called router protocol and it's going to have uh, at least in this case let's implement uh, push and pop first that's what we are going to struggle with right now and that's what the solution we need right now so this is accepting a drawable that drawable is actually implemented by a view ui view controller so that's that's what is going to be input to this so push drawable is nothing but whenever you try to do this push using this protocol then it's actually accepting all the view controllers which are implementing drawable at least in this case we have already extended the drawable with the u view view controller so this is always going to be a view controller which we will be passing and uh, rest of the things are gonna be similar to how you do a normal push in a navigation stack and and the third and one more thing which you need is a closure which can be used to actually uh, remove uh, once a, a view controller's job is done let's say you pop back and use use that closure to actually do some processing so i'm going to call it uh, on navigation back so this is for the back case so it's going to actually ask for a closure so i'm going to create that closure right now type alias navigation back closure it's a 
it's a simple closure nothing it just has to uh give back uh, something so that you know that uh, the back has happened or completed successfully so again that closure is implemented that, that, that is the push case also let's create one for the pop case pop pop is normally just you and uh, uh pop animated it's a simple thing so this is where you're going to remove your uh, view controller or at least the reference of your uh, uh, coordinator so you have these couple of things right now your router protocol you created you have a navigation back closure which you're act actually accepting when you are pushing so you know that you're going to use this to pop it back so whenever pop is happening you need to call this and then do the handling at that point so that's the reason you have this so let's let's see how it's going to get uh, implemented so i'm gonna have now a router so i'm just creating something called as a router so this is a going to be a class it's going to be a class called router and it's going to implement our router protocol so i don't think we're gonna extend it anymore so it does not conform to the protocol so let's we'll start implementing things which is needed maybe i create an extension which is easier router then move this here so that i can give that distinction between sections <clears throat> so router protocol implement that it's going to ask for push and pop those two things are implemented now and router is going to have an init which is going to accept the navigation controller so we were actually passing navigation con navigation controller to every uh, uh, coordinators until now so that was that is one reason uh, navigation con we were not able to handle uh, the uh, back scenario but we could have handled it the back scenario right there at the uh, coordinators itself but then it be it will start becoming repetitive if you start implementing a protocol which we are going to actually implement now which we could have done even there in each uh, coordinators but then this one is like a centralized approach where you can actually handle it at one place so that's the reason we are having this and then i can say let uh, navigation controller ui navigation controller then we are going to have the instance handled capture this instance here that's done okay so now we need uh, to implement something like i said uh, push and pop is fine uh, okay let's implement the push case but before that we need something to actually uh, capture uh, this closure so this is whenever push is going to happen let's implement that and see what's 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 going to happen let's so view controller if view controller is existing because this is like uh we're going to get this current view controller using this drawable dot it's actually referencing self right so we know that uh, this is the view controller so drawable has view controller which is actually referencing the view self itself like we are implemented that if that is existing else you can just directly return nothing happens and um, now is the case where uh, we need to capture this view controller so that i can pop it once uh, once this pop happens i can just pop this one out that's what we need for that whatever we need is uh, to create something to hold these closures so whenever a view whenever a view controller get pushed we need to hold this view controller at least this closure because um, view controller anyway you'll get that access back but we need this closure so that uh, with with some reference of which view controller this closure is referencing to for that let's create a dictionary we'll create that private 
var closures string navigation closure and instantiate that so that's my closures uh, dictionary key value pair so i'm going to use this to actually capture this closure at least hold these closures so for that i can just say closures okay, before that this this needs to be checked because if let's say if let closure equals closure that means uh, okay on navigation back is a closure so i can even give it a name so closure if closure is existing even you can keep this somewhere here otherwise you can just directly return from there um can we do that okay no not really so let's keep there because even if there is no closure i should be able to um, actually push that view controller so that we need that so i'm just going to do if i'm just checking whether closure is existing or not if closure is existing i can just use this closures dictionary which we created and then update that using a key value so value is my closure and key i can just use the view controllers description maybe so that's how the implementation is so you know this way you're capturing at least adding your closures to this um dictionary which you are created right now and then after that you can just say you already have the navigation controllers reference and then you can just push that view controller view controller with animated uh, so you already have uh, is animated here so whatever you're chosen from wherever it is coming you can do that so this is done so first case um of um, pushing is being handled now by this router where it is checking whether a closure is existing if its closure is existing then we are just updating this um, um, dictionary array dictionary which we have created here and then updating that here it not even if it is existing or not we just push that uh, view controller so this push part is done so one problem this was not a problem for us push was always working for us problem was when it was popping so we, we never had a handle of what needs to happen when pop was happening so that's where we are gonna do some uh, magic but pop this is not a place where we pop is gonna happen pop is gonna happen so at least pop is handled here we need to because this is a common place where uh, each and every routing things are gonna work so i can just say pop pop view controller is animated so i'm just creating that so once you call a pop it's gonna pop the view controller right here so we are gonna call routers pop to pop a view controller so that's gonna happen pop is gonna happen here but then problem is uh, how do you handle the back it's still not giving this is just uh, you're just hitting a back and it's only going to remove your view controller but you it's not going to remove your um, child coordinator yet so for, we need to do that so for that let's do something let's extend our uh, router and implement something very specific to a navigation controller called a ui navigation controller delegate this is what we need to handle that pop, pop and the back scenario where we need to um actually tell that the the back is happening and you just remove your um, uh, at least handle this case and tell your adapter or coordinator that uh, something a uh, remove is happening so this is where it is going to happen so there are some basic implementations here like um okay we need we need a uh, navigation controllers did show did show function so that's what we're going to implement did show so this is what will get called whenever the back is happening 
So any any navigation controller related things happens, it comes through this ditcho. So we just need to capture first thing is uh, the previous controller. I'm just going to use whatever is there in the article navigation controller dot transition. So some transition coordinator dot view controller for key. So for this specific key from we are going to do. So whatever is happening is it checks for a view controller, which is now in a transition state from so that whenever this is happening, then we need to capture and see whether a view controller is existing or not. If it exists, we continue else we just return here itself. So that's the first part. Okay, let me beautify it a bit. Okay. Couldn't do much there. Okay. Let it be there like that. It's not pretty. So let's keep it like however it was. So the previous view controller you get. If that is existing, I can always check my uh, navigation controllers, view controllers, whether that view controller is existing there or not. So that's what we're going to do. Guard navigation controller dot view controllers dot contains this previous view controller. If it does not contain continue else just return. So previous view con previous controller. the error view controllers dot contains okay it should be view controller for key from so this is done now it should not give an error so it's checking whether this previous controller is not existing in this view controllers so this is more like a case of back happening so that's what the documentation says so once if it is a back happening, then I can always grab this previous view controller and execute that closure. So for that, I'm going to create a function to execute the closures. I'm going to create a function called execute closures view controller UI view controller. And I'm going to see whether it this uh, specific uh, remove value. So if this specific view controller is already there in this its description. That's what you added with it. Whether this view controller is closure. As soon as I remove it, I get it. So if it is existing or not. I'm just checking that if I have it, I'll get this closure. Otherwise, I'll just return. Nothing happens. If the closure is there, I can just execute that closure. So this is done. So closure is executed. This is expecting type router does not conform to. What does it want? To add? OK, so it's asking to because I implemented this, it's asking to implement NS object. So I need to implement that. You can do it, do it here NS object. 
now it should not give me any error so that's done so this this step blindly follow it trans transition coordinators view controller from key from and get that previous view controller and see whether in the navigation view controllers it's already exist if not existing that means it's already removed from this that that means the back is happening and it's already removed from your view controller navigation controller if it was existing that means that view controller is still there in the stack but what once it is removed let's say this you popped it out we are not we did not have a handle to the pop so once this pop happens it's removed from your view controllers so that means back has happened so once that back has happened you can execute this closure so you, you are telling some something else that uh, back has happened now you need to handle something that's why we have this execute closure here so i'm going to execute closure call that execute closure it should execute closure asking for a view controller execute closure asking for the view controller which is the previous view controller so we know that it closure need to execute for this specific view controller that's simple as that so i hope this is clear this is the only thing you need to implement ui navigation control delegate and it's did show function and you're checking for view controllers transition coordinator from key if that view controller is existing use that view controller to see whether it's whether it is already there in the navigation stack if it is not there that means back is already executed and you need to execute your closure to tell let's say your coordinator that uh, back has happened now you need to remove the child coordinator from your site so that's what this implementation is all about i guess this is pretty much understood right now this router's purpose it's actually handling this back scenario here so let's start removing replacing everywhere wherever we had used the navigation controller with this router now so that's what we are going to do so every navigation router that we create is going to ask for the navigation controller so let's do start those things let's re revisit our uh, view controllers or uh, the coordinators we had a base coordinator we don't need to do anything we had a coordinator we don't need to do anything app coordinator is where we start passing the first uh, uh, navigation controller here so this is the place where we start so let me let me start there app coordinator so let's create a router right here and we're going to replace uh, this first thing go to this thing and we are going to replace this with a router now so we're going to call it as router um, and it should be uh, having a reference to the router protocol i guess let me just verify it once. okay yeah it needs to have the router so wherever you have navigation controller that's getting replaced with the router protocol i i feel this needs to be uh, I, let me just rename this to routing which is my favorite thing in um in wiper architecture where everything the all of this uh, protocols were called as routing and that gets deployed implemented by all the routers so i guess this naming convention is something which i'm gonna follow but just little bit deviating from that architecture i mean that article so instead of this navigation controller i'm gonna pass router here so changes as such you are not gonna see much because this is becoming a router and this router is going to have a push function and view it's asking it's passing a view controller and view controller is already uh, implementing drawable so this becomes like a drawable you're already passing like this push if you go back to the push function of your router let me go back to the router and show you push function is asking for a drawable and drawable is already implemented by um, if you go to the routing or at least the drawable drawable is already implemented by a ui view controller 
so we know that whatever we need to pass is a view controller itself so that's what is happening here push so i'm going back to search so first thing router got changed the routing and this gets the back is needed here so i'm also a closure so this is where we have a fun we have a variable definition which we need okay so this is where i think we are not implemented something in the base coordinator do we have something we don't have it so we need to have a closure here where, which says that it, this base view controller's job is done so let's add that here in the base view controller do we need it in the coordinator i need to check that once okay, we don't need that so it's actually happening in the base coordinator this is where we're having a closure so it's going to be in the base itself so that derived ones will always have this so that's the reason we are we are rel not relying on a, a protocol but instead we are using a base class so that we can have this is completed there so now because we have this is completed all that we need to do is we can just call this is completed here push is animated so this is result so is completed is my closure which is defined uh, so my protocol my uh, search city coordinator has is completed so that's what i'm passing here so we'll see what is going to happen with all these things now this is giving me an error because even airports coordinator needs to now replace its navigation control let's replace everywhere router calling routing and this is again going to get replaced with a router routing it's not a big change because it's almost conforming to whatever we need so only changes which are going to happen is wherever we had this navigation controller things we're just gonna replace it with router that's a simple change and this push drawable we're passing is animated instead of this it's in is animated and we need that closure even here all pushes asking for a closure navigation back again this is nothing but is completed because that is in the base that's also done second thing and it's asking for a change here so we need just pass router here airports coordinator is router yeah models and router instead of this it should be router yeah that's it so i think even in app coordinator we need to do that self dot navigation controller again this becomes a router routing routing we need to create an instance of router here routing router which accepts navigation controller which is self dot uh, navigation controller so this is what you're going to pass okay did we replace it everywhere we have this navigation starting with app coordinator first router is created here and we are passing it to search city coordinator this router it goes to the search city coordinator that is the first screen its coordinator and from there um, we are passing it to sh once you show airports even here it's replaced so i think we have replaced it everywhere router so this is not the end of it we need to still handle um, the routing because we we are not removed it so this coordinators is completed is what we will use to remove because you know what is happening here is push we are passing this is completed as the block which needs to execute so on when navigation back is called this is completed is what gets called 
what is the ref that is the block which needs to get executed so all i then need to do is first place where we need to remove we are only adding the coordinator here we also need to remove the coordinator so all that we need to then do is is completed once that this gets executed you just need to say weak self in self dot remove self okay at least this airports coordinator so the slight change that you like to do here is um, coordinator search coordinator okay we need to pass a weak reference of uh, this airports coordinator which we created and then we just need to remove it this is my is completed is a block so this is an optional type so i can always guard it and guard let coordinator else return nothing you do so this is what your coordinator you're going to remove once the back has happened. So this is going to get called. This is my is completed block, which is going to get called once um, this gets executed. Routers back. Um, when this gets executed, it's checking whether previous view controller and it's if it is already removed from the stack, ex this closure gets executed and this closures closures reference is what you are passing here i mean whenever you are pushing in that navigation closure back app uh, the coordinators uh, is completed is what is getting passed here so whenever this gets called this closure execution in turn and in turn this gets executed is completed gets a call back here and it removes your uh, coordinator from here so that's the simple logic here it sounds a little tricky but that's the only thing which is happening you have this base classes uh, uh, base coordinators is completed which is similar to this um, navigation back closure it's the same closures just that it is at two places one is at routing the other is at the coordinator so once once gets called the other also will get called i mean that is how closures work and uh, it will remove this this is the case where we are showing all the airports in this case once the back happens it removes so we can even if you want to completely remove even you can have this even in app coordinator we are starting and adding but we also need to remove dot uh, is completed it's called this closure weak self Anyway, there is no back happening here, but still I'm for memory management purpose. I'm just keeping even this code so that it's consistent everywhere. Self taught. So you're saying guard let coordinator is equal to search view city else return. And then you say self dot remove. So that's removing your child coordinator in this case app coordinators child is search city coordinator i'm just removing that but this case might not happen but the other cases are pretty much sure like which is going to happen it's also done so remove case is also handled now let's see how memory is gonna perform with these changes let's run and see whether nothing is broken gonna run it it's still working let's push that view controller and to search something it's pushing proper 
tuck popped it now let's search for let's try some some cases let's see whether it comes back to that router on back this is where get it gets executed guard let's keep it in the guard then you all have this back okay i missed something i missed a delegate here so that's the reason it's not firing so let's implement uh, self dot navigation controller dot delegate could that happen at the last so that we knew something is not working self super dot init needs to be a super dot init okay so now this should be test again see what happens now mumbai it should fire yes so this is where it sees that uh, it's already added to the stack so it's not going to come here see pop it it's going to come there because you're popping it it came there because it's not there it you popped it it's previous view controller is popped so you just need to execute this once you execute it it's going to go back to where is it going back it's going back here so it should remove it now it came remove because this gets called because the ex execute closure got called and execute closure is using this to execute so it came here and it's going to remove it things are working as expected hope that this is blocked is there a memory leak i don't know something happened let's read on We're gonna check anyway for memory leak. Executed. Okay, I don't think there is a problem. Mumbai, Bangalore. We'll check even the memory profiler once I maybe run three, four times and see how many instances are existing. So earlier case we were expecting like four instances already there. I'm gonna just I just need to see one instance now. If that is the case, we had we don't have any memory issues now. Let's see. Create your memory profile and your airports coordinator is just one. And as soon as I back, it's going to remove. So I should not see that once more. Yeah, you don't see that instance now. It's gone everything is gone and you have a problem resolved now this is like the biggest create i mean at least the most critical episode in this whole series if you miss this then you mess up your coordinator architecture so i hope this was helpful don't miss this one read it carefully implement it if you're not if you already started using your coordinator pattern this is very critical implement this one and i'm gonna give you that reference link where you can also refer uh, the documentation of whatever the implementation i've done here go through that and then you are left with uh, maybe three three more episodes i guess we we also need to handle this uh, we just have right now push and pop cases there is also present and dismiss case which you also need to go through the same routing architecture and there is also even the similar kind of an implementation which is going to happen which is coming up in the upcoming episode plus we are left with one more animation episode where in on initial load we are going to show some animation and then once the app launches let's say if you don't have anything to show here it's going to show that um, you need to start searching otherwise that more like an empty view we are going to show there so that's coming up pretty soon and um, i guess map kit is something the end after that is done maybe we can create frameworks out of all these modules which you have created and then see how you can use frameworks 
um plus i don't know maybe we are already using coca pods so maybe how we can create local pods these frameworks as pods and then use it because i already have a big bucket um with me so i'm using my repository to actually handle everything like keep those in my repositories and then maybe i can use that to create uh, pods out of these frameworks so that is also something interesting i'm thinking of let me know if you have any problem statement so that i can also look at it and see whether um, i have missed something here but at least basic problems uh, of popping and pushing is handled in this one i guess um, that's that's concluding my episode here hope hope you liked it and come back soon for the com- upcoming episodes keep subscribe like my channel or at least like my uh, tutorial episodes and share if you can and until the next episode it's bye from me